Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up groups within this course. This course has six students and I'm going to create two groups. So to go into groups you're going to go to Course Tools, go to Groups, and um, to create my groups this is going to be for a discussion that I'm going to be doing and the groups will be participating in the discussion. Um, so I'm going to go into Category you need to create a category to create your individual groups and the group name is going to be discussion group and you would put um, some information in here talking about you know what what this is going to be used for I'm not going to worry about it right now um, but it does help if you put a little description in there now underneath enrollment type okay if you want to set the number of groups um, you can do that one and um, this one here has number without enrollment where you would manually have to go in and enroll them this one here is where you could actually say okay I want two groups from my class or in here um, I'm sorry this one here would be if you want to say okay each group should have three students in it this one here would be um, Set saying how many groups you want to set up. So this is the one I'm going to choose. But you can see there's other options, and these are just the difference between self-enrollment and auto-enrollment. So I wanted to auto-enroll my students. So I'm going to pick this one here. So I'm going to say I want two groups. So I'm going to pick this one. And the number of groups I want are two. Okay. And um, I'm not going to set up any restrictions. The um, group prefix is what you want it to name so you, you could say okay discussion group one discussion group two whatever you want to be in front of the number so I'm going to abbreviate so I'm going to do the ice DSC um, group and then it will automatically put the number on the end of it when it creates so I'll have a discussion group one and a discussion group two because I'm doing two all right down here underneath advanced I'm also going to turn on this auto enrollment for new users, which means if anybody gets added to the class after these groups are created, they will automatically be enrolled into one of those existing groups. Okay. Um, I'm going to let it randomize my users. If you don't have this on, it will pick like the first half of the class and put them in one group and the second half of the class in the other group, but I want them to randomize it. Okay and I'm not going to worry about setting up um, areas and stuff for them to work um, because I'm going to do it when I create the, the actual discussion. So at this point I'm going to create two groups for this course and I'm going to go ahead and hit save and it's going to automatically enroll. It's creating the group so I just have to hit OK. And you'll see that I have my um, discussion groups all right, and if I open up my discussion groups, okay, let me come back to that. Ah, oh, there they are. Okay, so it took a second for them to pop up. So there's my two discussion groups, and it automatically enrolled. Um, I, like I said, I had six students in the class, so it divided up the groups um, equally, and I can go in and see who's actually in each one of these. Okay. So that's one way that you can go in and set up the groups.